hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i make make a chocolate cake a 1 kg chocolate cake so i'm going to show you the ingredients that i'm going to use uh, with me here i have uh, this is uh, self-raising flour i don't need to add uh, baking powder or baking soda it's or it, it does have all that here i have four eggs i have a half a quarter cup of plain yogurt you can use butter cream no butter buttermilk or uh, what else you can also use mala for those who live in uh, kenya you know what mala is you can use mala i have sugar here this is 200 grams i have uh, margarine you can use butter butter instead but i prefer using uh, margarine the margarine is 250 grams i have with me cocoa powder which is 46 46 grams i have brewed coffee i brewed uh, 220 ml of water and added one teaspoon of coffee instant coffee so that's the ingredients so let's go to the process no i have with me here uh, essence vanilla vanilla essence i'm going to use an eighth teaspoon of this so let's get to the process so we're going to begin with uh, oiling and dusting the the baking tin that you're going to use for me i don't have uh, the normal baking tin i'm using my cooking my cooking pot right here so i've taken some bit of margarine that had that was in this wooden spoon that i used to scoop out the the margarine so i'm going to to oil my pan like this that way and then dust it with some just from the from the flour i'm going to use i'm going to dust it So that is the first step i i oil and dust the pan i keep it aside so first we are going to sift the flour we're going to sift the flour together with the cocoa powder So there it is, the mixture of self-raising flour and uh, cocoa powder. So next we're going to cream the butter and the sugar. So I'm going to, to use a hand mixer. Don't mind my, my hand mixer. It does have one beater. It does have one beater. Because this section does not uh, work properly. So I'm going to use only one beater. But if you don't have a hand mixer, it's okay. You can use a whisk. Though it will take a lot of time.
So this is how I want the margarine and the the margarine and the and the sugar to look like. So I'm going to add uh, eggs one at a time as I'm mixing. So I'm going to scrape the sides and bring everything together at the center like that. So that's how I'm going. So as I'm mix, as I'm mixing, um, I'm adding in the the eggs one at a time. So that's it for for the mixer. This is the how we are going with the mixer. So I'm going to add in the the coffee. Oops. So make sure you're mixing everything so that everything is incorporated and mixed together. Every ingredient that you have put in here, you should make sure that they, have, they are mixed properly. There's no flour at the bottom, you see. I know my consistency, my, my, my chocolate cake consistency is not the same as for other people, but if you know, they always say cooking is an art and everybody has their way of presenting their art. So this is how I present my art. I don't have to be doing things the way people do. So this is mine. Everybody has their way of doing things. As long as it comes out nicely, 
and is it is edible and not poisonous so i'm done with the mixing i need to pour the butter on my baking pan the butter makes uh, one kg cake so this butter is for a one kg cake So the oven is already preheated and let me show you before I open the door so that is 180 degrees centigrade equivalent to 350 degrees Fahrenheit so it's ready for me to put it to put the ingredients in the oven remember So the cake is ready, as you can see it has baked properly, it's so well cooked, it didn't even burn. If you like to see how I baked this cake in a gas oven, there's a video before this video. I'll also leave a link in the description box for the video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. Like the video if this video is the kind of video you like. Share with friends and family. Support a sister. And that's it. So the cake ended up bulging and... Uh, breaking in the middle i have not yet uh, figured out what happened so thanks for watching bye